Hi everyone, Eric Folks, Mobile Learning Specialist for Lampass SISD. Just here to show you how to use autofill for your students to log into iBoss on their one-to-one -one iPads. So as part of the standard setup process for all 5th, 6th, 7th, and 8th grade iPads this year, we are going through the steps of getting students logged in to iBoss with their new network credentials. Most of the time, uh, if they've joined LISD student and they try to go to a new page, iBoss will pop up, but it's possible that they'll have to use the little iBoss shortcut that we push to all the iPads as well. Sometimes uh, kids will, uh, will click that iBoss shortcut and they'll come to this page and not realize that they've got another tab open right next to it where it says internet status. So if they go to that and they click the little refresh button in the top right hand corner, it will confirm that they're either logged in or uh, need to log in at the time. Okay, so I just refreshed and it shows that I'm still logged in. But let's say that I'm logged out. It's real easy with Safari's uh, autofill usernames and passwords for them to just click on either the username or the password field to bring up the keyboard just like they normally would. And then there's a button that shows up just above the keyboard that shows autofill password. They just click that button, then click the login button, and they're in. And it should be that easy. Just remind them to keep open that tab uh, and use other tabs to go anywhere else they need to on the internet, or just press the home button to escape out of the web browser and use any apps that they need to use. If you have any questions about this, feel free to contact anybody in curriculum. We'd be more than willing to come help you and your students uh, work through the process. Have a great day.